Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish from the Kish Cash Fund and we're taking a look at uh, the spider today to just give us an idea. We'll be looking at a couple of other things just to give us an idea of uh, what the trend might be. Uh, should we be going long or should we be going short on uh, our day trade? So um, looking at the spider right now, we, we've already drew in a, a, a couple of a different things. Um, our high, we'll, we'll recircle that, our, our high up here, and where we are now. And we were discussing things uh, touching our 200 day moving average. Um, you know, should it go further south than that? It looks that's an indicator that, uh, yep, the market is soft, and and uh, probably uh, the short play is is uh, the the direction that we should be looking at. Uh, big heads up on this uh, to be confirmed uh, by some other charts that we'll be bringing up. Is that if we're in any long positions, of course, is to close them out. Um, so we've got the spider right now saying hey let's let's be careful out there on anything long uh, if you're wondering what to do on a day trade tomorrow whether it should be a long play or a short play uh, take a look at all of your other indicators uh, uh, but uh, the trend right now is uh, on the short side okay hang with me just a second and we'll be uh, bringing up uh, bringing up another chart Okay, we're taking a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and again we've got uh, very similar patterns to to the spider. In fact, uh, you overlay one on the other; it's hard to tell the difference. But you have your high accumulating here, and we have uh, where we are at right now is is down here. And again, another uh, another indication that uh, the market's softening up. Um, I mean, there was some some indicators. If we go back into our short history from from this point on here, uh, to make the story uh, short, we some of us thought that the the overall high of the market w was here, only to be, you know, and it came down and then went sideways and came down, and we got fooled. And everybody and his brother shorted the market here, thinking it would. Uh, come down but it it fooled us and and went this way and then sideways and then then uh, some of us thought that well maybe this is it and at this point people were thinking about shorting the market you've got you know some double top action going on here and and whatnot but again it fooled full traders and that that went short at that point and and went here however we're below we're kind of like that area now and we're at at this point and we think that the uh, the trend is definitely uh, in, in this direction um, I mean you have to be careful each and every day I mean it did go up today of course and and, and when you have some downward movement you're gonna have up up days and and in an upward trend you're gonna have some some downward days but uh, it does look like it's uh, trending down. So again, be careful on the long sides and be thinking on the short side. Okay, we took a look at some broad market uh, charts of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Spider. Let's take a look at uh, uh, just a, a stock, but a big mother stock, the uh, Dow Chemical Company. And again, we've got this uh, topping out here and where we are now again coming down to the 200 day moving average and it just it's just giving us another signal another confirmation with uh, uh, with a different chart uh, a different stock um, that uh, things are softening up let's just take a look at uh, another sector and see what that stock is doing Okay, here's an individual stock, uh, IBM, another mammoth stock. Um, total different st uh, sector than Dow Chemical. But again, you got this, this top right here. And down, I'm going up and going down. But again, we're, we're here on it. And again, IBM is uh, giving us an indication that uh, we are in a downtrend. 
Uh, let's take a take a look at uh, at something else. Okay, and it wouldn't do uh, us justice unless we took a look at the banking sector, J.P. Morgan Trust, and let's just take a look, see what all J.P.'s been doing for us here lately, and. Again, you know, some very similar stuff going on, folks. So that would tell me that uh, we might be in a downtrend. I mean, here is our high here again. Um, we've got something going on here. I mean, just draw this line right straight across here. Keep it going right over here. And it's just saying, you know, we're not going any higher than that there. I'm just too tired at that point in time. You know, at that, I, I get nosebleeds at at that price. Whatever, I just I just can't handle it. And we've got what we've got. What we're looking at is a classic double top. Um, where here's the top, here's the top, and you know, it just said I'm just too exhausted. It came down and tried to get it back up there again. It didn't. It came down to here. It went back up a little bit. Never reached again this point, and then just said ah. Uh, going down. Of course it did have, you know, there's a couple of updates, a few updates here. But again, look at where you are and of course you're below the 200 right now. So, you know, having a little bit of fun with this is, you know, you got like a little boogie monster going on in here. And with the uh, the old double top with the, uh, with the M. And all this stuff going on here, we can just like do this. Is it, is it bottomed out? I, I don't know. I, I seems like the the pressure seems there's a gurgling sucking it down here and since we have it this far we put the little legs on here and we got a big old froggy in my eyes and whenever you see the big old froggy you know that uh you might be uh wanting to short something or get into that uh that 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 mode uh, okay, hang on with me just a second. Sorry about digressing so much. And last but not least here, let's take a look at the the IWM. This is the iShares Russell 2000 Index, an ETF fund. And here's 2000 US stock saying, uh, hey, guess what? We're, we're lower here and we're almost touching our 200 too and we've had this high up here and and all of us are basically saying saying the same thing and and if if that uh, if we're reading this right um it does look like a softening in the market and, and of course you don't want to be long um uh, in a downtrend you want you want to follow the trend because that is the as Jesse Livermore would say is the, the least line of resistance so so let's do that so after looking at all of these charts i'm not saying like hey let's go you know put the farm on 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 the short side of the market tomorrow but i'm saying with with prudence and money guidance and management and whatnot um that's what we're looking at we're even though this thing was up 18 cents today we're looking at uh watching things carefully we'll t we'll, we'll go long on a day if it's screaming up if we see something screaming up we'll say um if we have a trade i mean my, my goodness that would be uh, insane not to but uh, overall, our mindset is going to be on the short side. So, with helping you, uh, helping me figure that out, everyone, I appreciate that. And uh, y'all have a great, uh, great day trading. Um, and uh, like Tony Turner would say, my good friend Tony Turner, uh, keep green on your screen. And oh, by the way, these charts are brought to you uh, courtesy of. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. But our charts are courtesy of freestockcharts.com. Uh, and I wouldn't be trading without them. So thank you out there, you guys. And keep up the good work. And uh, I appreciate everything. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.